Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I haven't, I haven't been up here in a few weeks. Hey, I can't, I haven't been able to keep up. I've been working too hard. A lot of dropping hooks. Turn right on National Street. Been in New York twice since the last time I've been up here. I really haven't done anything different than I, I, than I always do. New York, drop off in Bronx, head to Camden, on my, on my reload, pretty much the same thing. So I really haven't had time to really get on YouTube other than that live stream I did last week. So that's why you haven't saw me. But now, here I am today, about to pick up some lumber at a place I've never been to. I just passed the place I have been to. Now I'm going to a new place I've never been, but I'm picking up the same thing, lumber. I left the Bronx uh, Wednesday. I left the Bronx Wednesday morning. I always go to Camden. This time I went to uh, Wilmington, Delaware, to the ports. And I picked up some lumber again, no tarp lumber. And I was gonna make a video, but it was just it was just too hectic. It was too hectic. I got there at 11.30. I rushed to get there. Got there at 11.30. Had to end up waiting till 1 o'clock for them to come back for lunch to get the load. And so pretty much, I was just pretty much out of it, really. So here I am now, Mount Gilead, North Carolina. 0.4 miles away from this place that I've never been to. So I'm just wondering if it, uh, I don't know. I don't see any signs or nothing. Tell me in 1,000 feet, turn right on National Street and then approaching destination on the left side in 620 feet. There's a train coming too. I saw it. I saw it a little further back. But they haven't. Uh, they ain't got up this far yet. So I'm thinking this is it right here. Cray. Yeah, this is it. Got to do a little button hook to get up in here. Y'all see this button hook? Cray Tim Mega Wood Timber Division. That's how you do a button hook. Let's see where this place is at. Oh, another train track. Oh, it's a little small place. Mega Wood Inc. I see the sign for Mega Wood. Let me check my load notes to make sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to Mega Wood. Check my notes to make sure. No, my trailer's not on those tracks. I'm well off the tracks. Yeah, Mega Wood. Yeah, I'm at the right place. Yeah, remember how I was telling you I was kind of hesitant about coming in here because I didn't see any signs. But now I know I'm in the right place. You have arrived at your destination on the left side, 197 National Street. 197 National Street. Ah, right, here we go. What do we have here? Oh, looks like a PNS. All trucks check in with forklift operator. Yeah. How do you know you're in the right spot? You just look for the other flatbeds. <laughs> oh man. So it looks like we just got that PNS truck in front of me. And Maybe you got one or two trucks getting loaded now. It's also 12 o'clock right now. So I don't know if they're having lunch or not. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go talk with the other PNS driver and see what he says. And then we'll see what we're going to do about getting loaded. the PNS driver that was in front of me. I went and chatted with him for a little bit. 
We got a 2020 Freightliner. That thing is nice. The inside is different. Got a digital dash. Pretty nice Freightliner. He said, what you driving? I said, I got a 2017. Yeah, he had a nice Freightliner. So, pull up here to the rack, back up to the rack. I need 10 pieces of dunnage. Guess how many I got on my truck? Zero. Zero, baby. So here we go. He said, whatever, he said get whatever you need. Get whatever you need. I like places like that. Get whatever dunnage you need. Sometimes you go to some places, like uh, Petersburg, Virginia. If you ain't got no dunnage, you better you better go get it, get some before you come back in. Uh, Y'all know how it is. Here we go. Let's go get this dunnage, baby. I hope we straighten out good enough for him. Let's get this dunnage. Flatbed game. That's what I say when I need extra energy. I just say flatbed game. Y'all should try it sometimes. Tell you what, this damn wing, this damn wind. Wind wants to take my damn straps away. What the hell? Damn wind will take my damn straps. Trying to use my slingshot technique, but the wind, wind getting carried away. There we go. Put a little more up in it. Let me grab my cell phone. 
I always gotta keep my cell phone in my pocket in case I get an important phone call from the wife or maybe PNS. Are you are you are you already loaded? Have you got loaded yet? Have they started loading on you? What's the hold up? Hell, I don't know. I'm waiting in line like everybody else. Hell if I know. Y'all know how that shit go. Have they started working on you yet? <laughs> Do you see anyone else getting loaded? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they just ain't got to me yet. Y'all know how that shit go. I'm gonna show y'all my little slingshot technique. This, this is, video is dedicated to Jimmy Huff, AKA the trader. Cause that's what he is, a trader. He come to work at PNS for four months and now he's gone to Montgomery. Jimmy, you were my idol until you left me hanging. Jimmy went to Montgomery so he could drive a 10 speed and pull oversized loads. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. Jimmy, my dog. Me and Jimmy go way back. Me and Jimmy go back to when I was thinking about working at BTC. And he was at BTC. That's how far me and Jimmy go back. See, I'm getting pretty good with that slingshot. I ain't got no straps on this side. So I gotta. Whew. I wanna put it on my tire. We put it right there. I gotta get another strap from the other side. I'm gonna show y'all my slingshot technique. I learned how to do it. Remember what I said the key to the perfect slingshot is all about momentum. That's how you do a slingshot. That's how you do a slingshot, Jimmy. We're gonna do the next one in slow motion.
Only thing I got left to do is tighten these straps up. And we out of here. I just got a message. Let me see what that message is. Hey, what I told y'all. Dion, what is the confirmation number for the DOT? Oh, okay. I did get a DOT inspection yesterday. That's what it was. I thought my DM about to ask me what time was I still, has I got loaded yet? I got a DOT inspection yesterday. For those of y'all that don't follow me on Snapchat. Gone, folks. We gone. We gone. We gone. I had to stop what I was doing and send my DM. Send my DM that confirmation number. We about to hit the road. Take it to the house, D. 97 miles, two hours, 17 minutes. It's country roads, too. Yeah, like I was saying a while ago, man, I got a DOT inspection yesterday. I had a little bit of bad luck. I stayed, where did I stay at, man? I stayed in Tom Brooks, Virginia, at a Love's on I-81. Turn left on. Julius Chambers Avenue, NC 109. Yeah, I spent the night at the Loves. And uh woke up, I woke up about 5.30, got my coffee. I rolled out about about uh I wanna say about six, right at about six o'clock. Yep, yeah, we ain't gonna stop on them train tracks. But anyway, I had like a I want to say I had like 300 some miles to get to Boone, North Carolina, where I dropped off at yesterday. And about, so I was already cutting it. I knew if I left, if I left the truck stop at six, I was gonna be in Boone by about 11:30, 12. So I was already. I, I didn't want to have to drive that far, but I got caught up in so much traffic on 495, uh, the 495 bypass coming out of Baltimore the day before. So I, I wasted a lot of time because I had to get off 495 and. Get on 66. Wasted a, wasted a lot of time, man. Stuck in traffic all the way. When you come out of the tunnel southbound from way up there, all the way down to the 495 bypass on the other side, like you're going towards 95. I had to get on 66. So yeah, I wasted a lot of time. But anyway, when I was driving, man, I got about, I wanna say I got about an hour and a half down the road yesterday. I looked, I looked out my down, I felt my truck slide. I felt my truck slide at one point. I was on the phone. And I had just told my homeboy, I said, it felt like my truck slid a little bit. I said, I don't think we got no ice on the damn road. And so uh, I thought about that. I thought about that a little later. I was like, once I knew I had a flat tire, because I was looking out my right mirror, and I started seeing some uh I started seeing my tire like it was wobbling. So I was like, I was like, fuck. So I was like, I got, I was like, I gotta pull over. 
So I pulled over on the on ramp. I pulled on the on ramp, pulled off to the side. I got out, walked around to the passenger side, looked at the tire. Uh, they're, they're washing that truck. A little hood car wash. Yeah, I walked around to the passenger side, looked at the tire. I said, damn, my tire flat. It had a hole in it. Like I ran over something. It was big too, man. It was big. Y'all hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I seen the pictures. I might I might put them on my YouTube thing so y'all see it. But yeah, I had a flat tire. Like I, I, I didn't hit a nail. I hit like a bolt or something. It was a, it was a hole big enough where I could put my pinky in it. And so, uh, man, I'm over there looking at the tire. I got ready to walk back around to the driver's side, grab my cell phone, try to figure something out. A damn state trooper pulled up behind me. He was like, what's going on? He was like, you can't park on this own ramp. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I know. I just pulled over because I got a flat tire. And he was like, oh, yeah. He was like, well, you can't park on the own ramp. He was like, it's a weight station three miles down the road. He was like, follow me to the weight station. So I'm like, okay, officer doing a Mr. Mr. DOT state trooper. It was a state trooper. I don't even think it was a DOT officer. That was it was a state trooper. Yeah, he was like, follow me down here to the weight station. But, and uh, whatever. Hey, cause you know you got state troopers, then you got DOT. Yeah, this is a state trooper. But you know, state troopers, they got those SUVs that do that that work with the DOT. Cause the DOTs had their own little trucks too, or whatever. Y'all know how it is. They all, all all the damn police. They all get your ass. So yeah, sheriff, you get ticket for parking on that ramp. See, so, yeah, I get down to the weight station, go across the scale. I, I started to go around it. Cause I had to. I was following the state trooper. I said, Nah, I'm gonna go, to go across the scale like everybody else. Went across the scale, got around to the pit. He uh he made me pull up on the damn little thing where they can walk under the truck and inspect it or whatever. And he came over there to me. He was like, "Why are you here? We'll go ahead, go ahead, and give you an inspection." Asked me for my driver license, of a registration. So I gave him that. And uh, other than the flat tire, because I just had a DOT inspection done at the terminal, like week before last. So I knew it wasn't nothing wrong with my truck. But, you know, he checked the brakes, had to pop the hood. He checked my steering, my, uh, my steering, and all that. He was, hey, he was checking everything. The only thing he didn't check was the fluids, but he was checking every damn thing else. So anyway, when he got done, he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, other than that flat tire, he was like, I right, soon you're gonna call your company and, and figure out what to do about that. But uh, he was like, all right, but uh, he put he put me out of service and got the damn, um, put the damn sticker on my damn windshield and had me out of service. So I, I but luckily I was, I wasn't far away from, uh, I wasn't far away from this tire place. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of that place. But anyway, that was only like 15 miles away. Cause maintenance called him for me. But it still took the guy like two hours to get there. And it was only 15 miles away. So anyway, that leads me to the day. Telling y'all this story. I just got a message from my DM while I was tightening my straps. Talking about sending me the confirmation number for that DOT inspection. Because I... I, she knows I had a DOT inspection, but I, I never scanned it in so they can see the actual paperwork. So that's what I just did. I went ahead and sent her the email with the confirmation number. Woo! Yeah, man, I've been, this place I'm passing right now, Jordan Lumber. Or well, it's Jordan Temper. That's what it, whatever it is. I've been there before, too. I just passed the entrance right there. That's the entrance where you get loaded at. But we about to pass the second entrance right up here. Where you gotta, uh, this is where you come secure that. See, it's a truck over there if you look to my right right now. You see that truck over there? Yeah, that's where you secure that. So that's a pretty long way. That's a pretty long way for you to drive from that other driveway to that driveway and you ain't secured it. But me, when I did it, I, I threw, I made sure I had a strap on each bundle. And I, and I didn't drive fast. I just creeped on down the, down the damn highway. Yeah, I've been there before too. They pretty quick. They pull you in the bay. I don't think about them. You got to take the little tags off the damn bundles and turn them all in at the office. Every time they break the bundle, you got to take the tags off. As y'all can see, I'm in the boondocks. I'm 
in the boondocks. Ain't nothing out here but trees. Space opportunity. If y'all ever run across me, make sure y'all tell me flatbed game. If y'all run across me next Saturday, February 1st, make sure you tell me happy birthday. Y'all remember that video where I said, y'all see me in the woods fighting the bear? Help the bear. Mike got some bears out here in this territory. Sorry I've been away for so long, man, but you gotta understand. I'm a truck driver first. Well, first, I'm a I'm an ass kicker first, then a truck driver second, and then YouTube trucker number three. That's that's in that order. I always put ass kicking at the top of my to-do list. <laughs> oh man. Hey, shout out my new subscribers, man. Shout out my new Snapchat followers. Hey, I see, I be seeing y'all, man. I be seeing y'all rocking with your boy. Hey, y'all see me on Snapchat all the time. Always, always, always eating. Always running lows. Hey, hey, cause I'm the hardest working flat better at PNS. Hey, I work hard, man. Y'all don't, y'all don't see what goes on behind the scenes. Hey, I be working hard. I gotta pick up another New York load Tuesday to deliver on, on Thursday. I, I told my DM, I'm like, yo, you know what? My vacation start Friday. She was like, yeah, that's cool. She was like, you might have to Bob Tell home. I said, I said, I said, Bob, I said, Bob Tell. She said, oh, no, I mean, deadhead. So she already told me, if I get to the Bronx and they can't get a load back, back south, I might have to deadhead home. Hey, it is what it is. Hey, but I'm, cause last week when I was there, Camden Yards was closed. But I tell you what though, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that might that might can't get me a load going straight back to North Carolina. But they could probably get me a load going to uh going to going down Virginia. They could probably get me a load I drop it off on Thursday. Yeah, so I gotta get a load that delivers in delivers in the in the south on a Friday or whatever. Hey, it don't matter. It don't matter. Hey, if I got it, hey, if I got a Bob, if I got, not Bob Till, if I got a dead head from the Bronx back to the Carolinas, I, I, I ain't gonna say I want to do it, but I, I know for I know for a fact I should be able to get something that's going to Virginia, like Ashland or Richmond or something, something just get me Virginia. I can drop I can drop that off on Friday Friday morning. And then dead head home from Virginia. That sounds a lot better. But I ain't about to do. I ain't about to damn bob till damn. I ain't about to dead head no damn six hundred miles. Right, right on. Exit highway twenty four twenty seven west. I really don't gotta be. I really don't gotta check into my air and beat till Saturday. But I just told. Hey, this for all y'all and any company. Hey, if you got if you got an exact day you gotta be home, you gotta tell them you need to be home the day before. Or they gonna bullshit you on that first day. Cause I need to be home Friday, but I'm delivering in New York on a Thursday morning. Hey, so that's tough. So any any cook, hey, if you want to be home, you know you gotta be home on the tenth. You know you gotta be home on the tenth. Don't tell them you want you want to be home on the tenth. Tell them you want to be home on the ninth. And if you really want to be safe, tell them you want to be home two days before that day. Yeah, cause like I said, I don't really don't gotta be home till Saturday. But I told him Friday, just so I don't get to run around about, about getting the load going home. I, I'm a leash driver. I mean, if I if I want a deadhead, I can do it because you know it's my fuel. But you, you know you gotta think about your money too. You don't want to be stupid. Like just because you can do it, don't mean you want to do it. Hey, I'm just running my mouth. This video up to 12 minutes right now. Hey, make sure y'all listen. Right on. NC Highway 24, 27 West, NC 109. Damn, damn, GPS always cut me off. Yeah, man, y'all can listen to this while y'all riding, man. I tell you what, I listen to other YouTubers too while I ride sometimes. And like when I put my signal light on, like listen right quick. Mile. Right on. NC Highway 24, 27 West, NC 109. Uh oh, school's on. Let me slow down. Hey, look, when I turn on my signal light, you hear it? I guarantee you. I guarantee y'all look at y'all own steering light. 
You like what the fuck? My signal light on? Maybe y'all, maybe y'all, y'all, see, see, y'all had a warning that I was gonna do it. But if you ever listen to a YouTube video and you hear him with his with a signal light, or you hear him blow his horn or something, you gonna be look. I guarantee you look out the window. You be like, what the fuck? Come on, buddy. I gotta get over right lanes. Right lanes. 89 miles for me. I gotta get on one little stretch for probably about 20 miles where I ain't got no cell phone signal. Hey, it is what it is, man. Flatbed gang, I love y'all. Maybe I can hit y'all back next week. Hey, hey, I done showed y'all that New York Bronx load. I might show it to you again. I done did that load 20 times. I might show it to you again. All depends on how I'm feeling, man, because. Hey, I be working hard. Shout out my dog Aaron. Shout out my dog Jimmy. Shout out my Snapchat buddies. I can't remember y'all new ones. I can't remember y'all names, man. My man, my man with the my man with the truck that dumped the dirt and put the phone on the damn side of the mud flap. Hey, I can't remember your name right now, but I, I watch you on Snapchat and Facebook. Hey, that was a cool trick, man. But I got you on my next video. I will shout you out. Flatbed gang, I'm out.